Hello everyone, in this video we will go over the classic board game Battleship and we'll talk about how to play as well as some strategies that I employ when I am trying to be efficient and declare victory at the end of this game. The premise of Battleship is fairly simple. You've got two players who are going to try to fight a naval battle with each other but they're not sure where their opponent's ships are. So they're going to fire their missiles and, or rockets and you know, guns at one another and they hope they are going to hit their opponents to sink their ships. Each side does not know where their opponent's ships will be. So for here, uh, where the way I have this set up is just for it, instructional purposes, but typically what we're going to see is the ships are going to be in this manner where if I'm sitting on this side, I can't see my opponent. And if I'm on this side, uh, I cannot see the other side as well. But um, the bottom half of the board is the grid where you're going to put your ships. And the top half is where you are going to record uh, your hits and your misses. So um, what you do is you take your ships and you're just going to set up in any manner that you want. And then once you have them set up, then you are going to each attack one another and uh, declare a target to hit. So I just randomly put these ships in. We'll talk a little bit about some strategies you might use in uh, just a minute. Uh, there isn't necessarily a science to the placement part of this, but there are some things that can be helpful for you to consider. Uh, and same thing with the other side. I'm just gonna randomly place some ships on the board and we'll go from there. All right, so the game is set up once both players have set their pieces in. And from there, one player will fire at the opposing player. And once uh, you do a grid hit on uh, another ship. Uh, you're gonna say hit if you your attack misses. Uh, the other side says miss, and you keep going until all the ships have gotten hit and are sunk. So each time you get a hit, you put one of these red uh, pieces inside your ship until they're sunk, and then you pull them off the board, and then you've got your red pieces available again until they're all gone. Okay, so that is what you're gonna do until all five ships from one side have been destroyed. Now, the strategy with this comes with uh, considering what you wanna do for placement as well as considering what you wanna do with your attacks. Uh, let's talk about placement first. So again, there's not necessarily a particular method to the madness with placement. Uh, one thing I would consider is if you play this a lot and you notice your opponent has a tendency to focus on a particular area, don't um, don't put your ships, uh, you know, don't plump all your ships in that area. Uh, so if you, your opponent tends to start in the, the bottom right corner or the bottom left corner or the center, don't put all your ships there. You might want to put one ship in that area, but don't put all your ships there. Second thing, don't clump your ships together. So I might have a strategy of saying, well, I think my opponent's gonna go up here, so I'm gonna put all my ships down in the corner to be away from where I think they're gonna go. That is a high, high risk strategy because if you clump all your ships together, then what if you're wrong and they start attacking that area and all of a sudden, they are gonna just go after all your ships at the same time. Uh, in addition to that, even if you're not clumping your ships together, don't put ships next to each other. Always put at least one gap in between. The reason I say this is, let's say you have these two ships right here. Well, if your opponent hits the submarine right here, and then their next shot, they think they're gonna hit the submarine down and they hit your other ship. Well, now they know where two of your ships are instead of just one. And it's a lot easier for them to then target that area and end up knocking out both ships. Whereas if 
there was a gap in between and you put your other ship up here, then if you got shot here and they kept thinking it was going south and they missed you here, then they're gonna know to go a different direction and then your aircraft carrier stays in anonymity. So just leave gaps. And I just think in general, it's a good idea to just spread your ships out so that they're not all right next to each other. And you know, this is a game where there's some chance involved with people accidentally hitting your ships. But if you have them spread out and gapped out, there's gonna be plenty of opportunity for your ships to get missed. So that would be my approach to uh, the setup. The other piece then, is what do I do about the attacks? So my attacks are gonna be focused on trying to make this as efficient as I can. And the most efficient thing I can do is to make sure that I am gonna hit every nook and cranny that I can. So at the beginning of the game, the smallest ship is the patrol boat, which is two. So if I were to go through the game and hit every other spot on the entire board here, then I would be able to make sure I hit every single ship. So uh, that is the approach I'm gonna take, is to go every other dot along the line and just be very methodical with my approach. Doesn't necessarily matter how you go about it, as long as you are going to allow you to do every other one. And then the nice thing is, if by chance, early in the game, I destroy that patrol boat, once I knock it out, then the smallest ship is three, and then I can go every third spot to make it where I can hit them. So what would I do? So a few ways that you could do this, if you want to start just 1A, that could be your first hit. Oh, I missed. Okay. Next time I would go to B. And then continue down the line. 1C. 2D. And so on. Notice I'm going every other one. Whether the patrol boat is aligned sideways or up and down, this way, if it's here, it's gonna get hit. I'm not going to miss an opportunity to hit this ship. And even if it's right here, okay, I might miss it in this go around, but eventually I'm gonna circle back, either come on the top or eventually I'm gonna hit it along the way. And this way you're gonna be the most efficient without accidentally hitting things. Because the worst thing I, I think can happen is if you're just kind of going down the line and doing something like this, you're gonna make it where you, you're being less efficient than you can. Now, this is not gonna guarantee you a win to go every other one, but it makes it so you have a uh, optimal plan so that if all things being equal, uh, you start hitting the ships before the opponent does, you have a better chance to come out with the victory. Now, you can do whatever patterns you want, but notice it's kind of a diagonal pattern that you're gonna do. So if you wanna start here in the top corner and just keep going and make like an X shape, you could do that. Uh, kind of go all the way down the line and then all the way up into the corners. You could do that. You could start in the middle with 5E and then kind of work your way around it if you wanna start at the center. Uh, you could do what I did initially in this corner and start in any one of the corners. Uh, it, again, if you know tendencies of your, the players you play with, you can make use of that when deciding how to do it. But the key is doing these diagonals and going every other one makes it so you are going to guarantee that you hit the patrol boat. And again, let's say I sink the patrol boat. Now, I don't have to go every two. Now I can go every third one. So I would go here as my second move. Uh, and say go right here. Right here. And right here at 4A. So I've created a diagonal line 
but it's got a gap of two because if the shortest ship out there are the ships that are three, no matter where it's at, here or here, 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 no matter what, I'm gonna hit that ship if it's in that area. I'm not gonna accidentally miss it because of that. All right, so that's the strategy I use, uh, is to just make sure that I'm leaving gaps that are only large enough that I'm going to guarantee to hit any of the smallest ships. Because uh, really, what could be really annoying is if you blow up the biggest ships and you spend a whole bunch of time late game where you think you're winning and then the patrol boat's hiding and then you end up having all your ships sunk while your opponent gets away. Uh, this way, you can be methodical, you can try to win the game, and uh, it's been pretty effective for me all the times that I've played the game Battleship. So that's my approach to the board game Battleship. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button so other people can see that this video exists and benefit from it as well. And if you are interested in other classic board game content or newer board game content about uh, what games are out there, how to play them, and strategies for how to play them, uh, hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you soon.